iOS 11 is bringing instant markup and notes to the iPad this fall. Let's take a quick look at how they work. Every time you take a screenshot, a small picture-in-picture -picture box will appear in the bottom left corner of your iPad screen. Just tap on the pip to open it up, allowing you to instantly mark it up and share it. Instant Notes works by using your Apple Pencil to tap on the screen after waking it, instantly opening up notes without having to unlock your iPad. Of course, you'll need an iPad Pro for this new feature, since the Apple Pencil won't work with any regular iPad. Delving into Instant Markup, we see that you can take multiple screenshots, which adds them to a pip drawer. But be aware, if you wait longer than a few seconds, the pip drawer will disappear. Apple Insider did discover a workaround for this, though we're not sure if it's a bug as of the latest iOS 11 beta. At any moment you can tap on the pip, then tap the share button. While the share sheet is up, press the home button. It will bring you back to the page where you took your screenshots, and then keep the pip drawer up indefinitely. You can take more screenshots and go in and out of instant markup without having to tap the share button again, while not having to worry about the pip drawer disappearing. If you actually do want the pip drawer to disappear, just swipe it off the screen. But remember, they'll still be saved to your camera roll. Tapping into the pip, you'll be able to use your finger to swipe through each screenshot. Attempting to swipe with the Apple Pencil will just mark it up. If you wait a couple seconds after swiping to a screenshot, it'll allow you to mark it up with your finger as well, without swiping over to the next one. If you're actually trying to swipe over, just start your swipe from anywhere in the gray background. You'll also be able to instantly crop your screenshots at any given moment. If you're unsatisfied with your crop, just hit the undo button. You'll find the same old markup tools as before, except for the ruler, which has been replaced with a lasso tool, which works by lassoing and moving your markups around the screen. There's also a new plus icon, allowing you just to add text, a signature, a magnifier, and objects like a square, circle, speech bubble, and arrow. Each of these objects in the magnifier can be customized by tapping the icon next to the plus icon, like for example, choosing a two-sided arrow. The text option has additional customizations like changing the size, font, and alignment. The signature icon allows you to instantly tap to choose an already registered signature, or create new ones. Once finished, users can tap the share button and select which screenshots they want to share. Interestingly, you get more options by only selecting one. You can also share one screenshot a specific way, then select and share another one a different way. Once finished, hit cancel and then done you'll have the option to save them to photos or delete them if you no longer need them after sharing. Before we get into instant notes, let's head over to the settings. We'll see a note on lock screen option, allowing us to disable it completely or choose between always creating a new note or resuming the last viewed one. Below that, you can change the amount of time before a password is required when trying to resume a note from the lock screen. You'll also discover a new setting which will disable drawing with your finger within the notes app when an Apple Pencil is connected. Your fingers will instead be used for scrolling. Tapping into this new feature, you'll find the markup menu pop up. If finger drawing is disabled, you can tap on your note to bring up the keyboard. Otherwise, you can close the markup tools to scroll and tap to open the keyboard. You can also continue to draw with the Apple Pencil. All of the extra features like adding a list bubble, scanning a document, taking a photo or video, and adding a sketch will work without having to unlock your iPad. You can also create a new note or delete the current note without logging in presenting a potential security issue. Thankfully, users can retrieve recently deleted notes after unlocking their iPad. Attempting to share the note or view all of your notes will require a password. Now let's get into what has changed in the general notes app with iOS 11. The camera icon has been replaced with a markup icon, which allows you to instantly markup instead of having to add a sketch in iOS 10. The former photo library and take photo or video options have been moved into a new plus icons menu along with Add Sketch and the new Scan Documents feature. To learn everything you need to know about scanning documents in iOS 11, click the card above. Notes in iOS 11 also gets new features in the Share menu, like adding lines and grids, and Find a Note to search for text within your note, and even using advanced machine learning to locate hand-drawn text. Opening up the keyboard, you'll find that the Undo, Redo, and Copy to Clipboard buttons are consolidated into one icon. You're also presented a new Add Table icon. After adding a table, you can tap the Option buttons to add or delete columns and rows. Tapping the Add Table button again gives us additional options like copying, sharing, or deleting the table. You can also convert it to text, which removes the table while keeping all the text. Tapping the Font button presents new font options, like a new monospaced option, 
in font customizations like bold and underline. If you're interested in learning about all the other features coming with iOS 11, click the card above to see our Inside iOS 11 playlist. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.